In this video, we are going to show you how to install N8N onto a Debian-based system. This has been something that the N8N community has been asking for a long time and I figured it was about time for me to step up and make it happen. This process should work with most Debian-based Linux systems such as Ubuntu and even a person favorite of mine, the Raspberry Pi. This video is designed to perform an installation on any Debian-based system, even if it is already running other things. While it shouldn't cause any trouble with your already running services or applications, anything can happen so please proceed with caution and be aware that you follow the instructions in this video at your own risk. You will also notice in this video that everything is being done from the command line rather than using a point and click user interface. This is because the easiest way to perform these tasks is directly from the command line. In the case of the video, I am doing this remotely using SSH but you can also do this from the computer terminal or if your system automatically launches into a graphical interface, this can be done from the terminal application. Because we are going to be performing some updates to your system as well, your account on your system will have to have sudo access and you will need to know your password when prompted. If you do not have sudo access, please give yourself sudo access if you have access to the root account or get your system admin to give you sudo access. Also, make sure that you do not perform these commands as root. This will cause issues with the installation and potentially with the entire system. There are five parts to this installation. 1. Updating the system to the latest software. 2. Installing N8N prerequisites. 3. Installing and configuring Node.js. 4. Installing N8N. 5. Installing and configuring PN2. With all of that being said, let's start the install. The first thing that we are going to do is update the system. This way we will know that we are running all of the latest software. You can follow along with the installation process by following the arrow on the GitHub page to the right. Depending on the number of updates that you require, the speed of your system, and the speed of your internet connection, the update process can take a while. For this video, we've sped up this process. Next, we are going to install the prerequisites for N8N. These are the build essential and Python packages. Once the prerequisites are installed, we will then install and configure Node.js. In this video, we are installing Node.js version 12.x, but N8N should run with any version above 10.x. It is important to follow these steps to configure the location of the global settings. If these steps are not performed, the N8 in an installation will fail. Now, we will install N8 in itself. It is common to see warnings at this time but they can be ignored. The final piece of this process is to install and configure PM2. PM2 allows you to run a Node.js application as a service. This way, you do not need to manually restart N8 in each time you reboot your system. N8N is now successfully running as a service. Be certain to copy and paste this line from the console, otherwise, N8N will not restart on reboot. You can now open up your web browser and go to the IP address of your N8N server followed by colon 5678. You should now have the new N8N editor page ready to go.